help support it. I don't want to get back up. Fanny pack. Tara Michelle vibes. I did manage to get my Converse on. I cannot take my freaking ring off. I got extra large and men's. These are my favorite. About balance. The lovely pregnancy weight gain. Hi you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I am about to get ready to head to town to do some errands and also grab some dinner with some friends that are in town. It is currently 3.38. I just got off of work and I'm about to start getting ready, but I also got this belly band in the mail today. At first I wasn't sure if it was doing anything, but then I took it off because I wore it for like a few hours earlier. And I was like, oh, <laughs> it was doing a lot actually it was definitely helping hold my belly up I think so I think I'm gonna put it back on while I stand here and do my makeup because I don't want my back to start hurting again it's just this black band and all this is like velcro on the sides and this part is where your belly goes so you just put this under your belly get this out here to help support it and then you velcro it in the back i don't know how tight you're supposed to do it or what see it just doesn't feel like it's doing a lot but when i took it off i was like oh maybe it was actually doing a lot i got it off of amazon and i got it to wear for like when we go on walks and like when i'm cleaning and stuff because that's when my back starts to hurt the most and my belly just feels so heavy so we're gonna wear this for a little bit i probably won't wear it out i don't think but i don't know it is a bit baby shower weekend. I'm so excited. I have so many friends and family and stuff on their way to town right now or like getting to town tomorrow. One of my best friends, she and her husband and kid and her mom just got to town, I think, or they're getting ready to get to town soon. And that's who we're gonna go eat dinner with. They live 10 hours away. So I'm so excited to see them. I haven't seen them in forever. And then my brother's gonna be here tonight. He's staying here with me. And then I have a bunch of friends coming tomorrow morning. It's just so exciting. I love like getting to see all my friends and stuff that I don't like get to see that often. But I also hate the fact that like everybody's coming here for me because I just feel like I can't be with everybody all at once. Like I need to clone myself and make 10 of me so I can hang out with everybody, especially Especially since it's like such a short period of time you know that everybody's gonna be here it's kind of like at your wedding like everybody's there for you and you don't have enough time to talk to everybody as much as you would like you know but we're just gonna try and enjoy the time that we do get to spend together and celebrate such a special event for miss baby girl but before we go to dinner tonight I need to go to, I need to put a little more on. I need to go to like Target or something because <laughs> nothing like waiting till the last minute to need shoes for your baby shower tomorrow. I thought like my train of my dress was like long enough to cover my feet to where like it wouldn't matter what shoes I wore, but that is not the case. You can definitely see my feet. And I have no shoes whatsoever to wear. I do have a really pair of cute boots that I wanted to wear. They're like pointed toes and they're like a different shade of brown but my feet have grown since I've become pregnant and they are so tight like I could barely get my foot in there and I didn't even have like a sock on so those aren't gonna work so I just need to like maybe go to Target or something and see what I can find there I don't want to spend a whole lot because I don't if my feet are growing I don't know if they're gonna stay that size if they're gonna go back to my regular size so I just don't want to spend money on shoes unless they're like cozy shoes I really like slippers and that kind of stuff because I honestly was gonna plan to wear my Ugg dupe slippers under my dress, but you can definitely see them. <laughs> That's not gonna work. We didn't get the nursery all painted. Well, we got it all painted. Jared finished painting the main part of it. He just needs to trim the top of it and he didn't get to do that before, you know, the craziness of this weekend. So I had to last night just move everything that was in our living room and stuff back into the room so that like when people are here like our house doesn't look so freaking disastrous and crazy like it did i mean it still doesn't look the best because we didn't have room for like the kennels and stuff to move back in there so i cleaned up last night but the nursery is now <laughs> just a mess which is fine because it's not like anybody's gonna be in the nursery and i didn't move our chair back in there either because i couldn't move it by myself and there's no room to move it in there right now dang it i was gonna freaking wash my makeup brushes before tomorrow and i forgot I was gonna do that last weekend. Oopsies. 
Okay, I wanted to go like very Tara Michelle vibes today. I just watched her New York vlog that she posted today and she was wearing like black leggings, like white socks, white Converse, black shirt, except I'm not gonna put a black shirt on, black vest, and then a hat. I don't really have the cutest hats. I have like all sports hats. I have a black hat, I could do a black. That would be cute. But yeah, I just wanted to go all Tara Michelle vibes just because it looked very cute, cash, and comfy and that's what I'm here for. So I'm thinking, this vest, I don't know if I should wear this shirt or not or wear the black shirt that I have. It's just, that's a lot of black I feel like. And I don't know if I can wear my Converse because I tried one on and it was so tight. So I don't know, we'll have to see. And then I have this hat option. I don't know, she, she was okay, let me get the black hat. My black hat is like pretty disgusting just because I worked out in it all the time and I think that's like sweat marks, so gross, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I think I like the white hat way better. I need a new black hat, apparently. I think that's cute. Maybe I should change my shirt to a black shirt? I don't know. But let me go attempt to put on my Converse because I don't know if I'm gonna wear them. Okay, here's the fit. We're going with this. I put the black top up to this and I was like, that's just too much black. So we're just doing this like long sleeve shirt from Walmart that I got. It's so comfortable, I love it. This vest is from Kohl's. Jared got it for me for Christmas last year. Hat is from Hobby Lobby actually. This is my Amazon bodysuit, which I already have to pee. So I'm gonna have to like take all this off to go pull my onesie down to pee, but it's just so comfortable and I love it. And I'm not wearing a bra because I'm wearing this bodysuit and there's not padding in there or anything, but I feel like with the vest, you can't really tell, you know? And then I did manage to get my Converse on and these are not real Converse, they're just like dupe Converse off of Amazon. And then I have some white Nike socks, white Nike socks on. So that's the running errands fit, which I don't know that wearing Converse is the best move either because if I'm gonna go try shoes on, these took a while to get on, probably like five minutes. And so I'm gonna have to take them off to try on shoes and then put them back on instead of just slip on shoes, but that's okay. I want this fit vibe, you know? So we're gonna go with this for tonight. If you guys saw my last vlog, this house looks a lot more like a house again. We don't have a freaking clothes rack out here and just the whole mess. We still have the kennels out here, like I mentioned, just because there's no room. And that office chair that we actually need to just get rid of or sell. And then we do have our nursery chair still out here, just for like extra seating when people come. But I didn't want to move that, that back into the room because one, it's heavy by myself. And two, we're just gonna have to move it back out. So I just left it. Also that black thing in there, corner needs to go as soon as possible. It's driving me crazy. But that was also from the nursery as well. You guys need to potty? Let's go potty before mom leaves. Go so the plan for me coming to town, other than eating with my friends, was to go to a Dunkin' because I haven't been to Dunkin' in forever. I've just been going to Starbucks and Starbucks is so expensive. I hate how expensive it is. And I looked on my Dunkin' app at home because I was like, what do I want? And I looked and saw that I was gonna get like a toasted white chocolate latte and a medium was gonna be $3 and like 30 cents or something like that, which a medium at Dunkin' is like a large at Starbucks and a medium at Starbucks from what I've been getting is $7.22. That is freaking ridiculous. So I was trying to boycott Starbucks, but on my way here, I was just thinking that it's gonna be way smarter to go to a Target closer to the area to where I'm going to meet my friends to eat because it's already 4.40 and they're gonna go to the place at 5.30, which it's gonna be like a 30 minute drive for me on top of, well, probably not on top of, all together from like my house to the place where they're eating is like a 45 minute drive. And I don't have a lot of time because I also have to stop and look for shoes at Target. So I can't go to the Target that's right by the Dunkin' over there. I'm gonna have to go to a different Target and there's not a Dunkin' around there. There's a Starbucks in that Target, and I just don't want Starbucks. I want Dunkin', so I don't know what to do. Why am I literally acting like this is a first world problem right now? It's a freaking coffee Chanel. But I know I said I was gonna cut back on getting coffee every single time I come to town, but you know what, tonight I just feel like I want it because everybody when we go to dinner is gonna order a drink, 
and I can't do that. So I just feel like I want to get a coffee instead. Oh, and also I have 19 miles till E, so I should probably stop and get gas real fast. Ah. Which just adds another time ticker off of my already short scheduled time opening that I have. And I can stop and get my phone because I went to put my phone in my cup holder and it fell into the floor on the passenger side. So I can stop and get that as well. <sighs> I felt like I had so much time when I was getting off of work and getting ready and that was not the case. Oh look, they're all out of service. Oh, that's the diesel. Okay, you guys, I just got out of Target and I need to show you what I got. I got those boots in there that I showed you guys because all the shoes were 30% off and I had seen those boots when I went to Target last time. I was gonna get them, but they were $40 and I was like, I don't need them that bad, but they were only like 27 today. So I was like, okay, because I have a pair sitting in my Amazon cart that I've been wanting and they're like 55 and they look almost identical, kind of. So I was like, I'll just get these. And then I don't know if these will work, but I got these. The lady in the car across from me is getting into her vehicle. She's probably like, what the heck are you doing? <sighs> I can't breathe, I'm out of breath. I've literally never owned a pair of shoes like these and I don't even know if I'll keep them. I might end up returning them. They were only $13 with the discount, but they're like these pointed ballerina shoes. I don't know, they just look like they would match my dress pretty well tomorrow. And then when I was walking out, I saw this and I have been wanting to get this for a few years now, honestly, but I just haven't. I haven't seen one at Walmart. I've seen them, or at Target, I've seen them at Walmart, but it's this furry or fuzzy like fanny pack, kind of like the Lululemon fanny pack. And I just thought it would be so cute for winter time. And I love the color of it. It's like this neutral cream color and this was also 50 or 50 30 percent off it was originally 15 dollars and i got it for 10 50. so i was like um yeah i'm not passing that up for 10 dollars. are you crazy so guess who's moving all their stuff over from this lululemon bag to this one me i also want to put my boots on because i feel like they're going to be more comfortable than my converse my converse aren't like terrible but I just feel like they're gonna be more comfortable, you know? And it's gonna make my look even cuter. Oh my gosh, I have some mints. I've been obsessed with mints. Pop one of these right now. It's currently 5.29, so I'm not doing terrible on time. I told them I'd be there by like 6, 6.15. And I have like a 15 minute drive, so I'm not bad. Okay, this is definitely smaller than the one that I currently have. I mean, not as many pockets, really, but that's okay. Oh, I just got in my pocket and saw my sauna was from when I was like 10 weeks I think. I'm gonna keep that in there for a little treasure every single time I open it. Cute! I like it. I just need to take the tag off of it somehow. Kind of more bulky but you know whatever. It works. Oh! <laughs> that was real smooth. I just bit my tongue too. Cool. All right on to dinner we go. Good morning, you guys. It's baby shower day and I'm so excited, except I have some issues that I'm running into. My bra is like too tight, so you can like kind of see just things popping out and I don't love that, so I kind of maybe want to go stop at like Walmart or Target or something and see if I can get a bigger bra. I have a bra that's too small or too tight, which is this one, and I have a bra that's way too big in there. But I just, I need a different bra because I just, this is going to drive me crazy, I think. And then my shoes, let me show you the whole fit. I love this dress. Like, it is so comfortable. It is so cute. It matches my theme so well. It's like we can barely wait with like teddy bears and stuff. So I just feel like a little teddy bear in it. But these shoes, I got my regular size, a 7. 
and I couldn't do a seven and a half because the way that these shoes are, like you have to have them tighter to stay on because if I would walk, my heel would like pop out of here every single time. So I got my regular size of seven and I don't know if they're too, I don't know what the issue is. They're just not comfortable to walk in, honestly. Like this is how I'm walking, I'm like, I feel like I look very strange when I walk, so I don't know what to do about that. I thought about maybe stopping at Walmart, seeing what kind of shoe options they have, and returning these ones possibly, but I don't know. Also, I want to get a different necklace. I literally feel like The Rock from like here up because that's just the vibes that this is giving, but I don't have any other gold necklace. And this one always like tangles up and it gets so annoying. The bump is bumping and we are ready to celebrate Miss Baby Girl. Jared's already in town. He had to go run errands and stuff. So I'm just gonna meet them him there at the party. I didn't film me like getting ready or anything because I did a short or a reel. Don't exactly know if I'm gonna post it because I don't know if I like it. I'll have to see when I edit it, but yeah. Hi puppies. Can you get in your kennel? Those are handmade by her. Teaching her young. Oh my goodness, you guys. We are finally home. Actually, we've been home and then we left again and now we're back home. But it is 9 12. I am exhausted. My stomach hurts because I think she's like up in my ribs, which I've never felt before. And when I was driving home, like I felt like I, I couldn't catch my breath because she was just up there. But it's feeling a little better now. After the shower, which was so beautiful and it was so fun. I just loved seeing everybody. Like I just loved every minute of that. We came home and like unloaded the gifts here. We let the dogs out for a little bit and I changed and stuff. Then we headed back into town to hang out with some of my friends at the hotel that they're staying at we literally just had a hotel lobby party just us and all their kids so how many kids were there three two and two seven kids from the ages of five to one year no eight months and we ordered pizza because we were hungry and we just hung out in the lobby for like three and a half hours and it was fun we I haven't seen them in a while so I wanted to hang out with them for more time than just the shower but it was so nice I had the best time it was literally the best the best day it was so freaking surreal like getting to celebrate our baby like it's so crazy to think now jared's currently giving honey a bath because she peed in her kennel while we were gone so yeah that's not what we had planned to do at 9 15 when we got home also look i cannot take my freaking ring off i'm gonna have to go like wash them or something but they're so tight also 
when I went to Walmart or to Target to return those shoes, I saw these pajama bottoms there. They're not the same as the ones I had last year. They're a little different, but they're still striped. But my top still fits. It's just my pants that are too tight. So yeah, like this is like a, a darker red and thicker stripes. But you know, it's not that far off. You know what I mean? I didn't need a whole new top because this one still fits. But I needed bigger bottoms because the ones I have too tight and hurt my belly. So I'm going to put those on. So you can definitely tell the difference but I mean I'm literally gonna be wearing them at my house I'm not wearing them out anywhere not taking Christmas pictures of them this year so you know it doesn't really matter they're close enough right also I just noticed when I throw the tag away I got extra large in men's and not extra large in women's which is why they're very long but that's okay but after we went to the or after we left our baby shower my parents and my siblings we went to the nut house and got some stuff so we got some milk chocolate double dipped peanuts these are my favorite they're so good i got a pound of those i think and then we got some of this fresh fudge vanilla heath toffee that was so good i got a half a pound of this but i haven't opened it yet so i'm not gonna open it and then these are my favorite too the frosted christmas tree chocolate covered pretzels so good not healthy for you at all but you know it's fun christmas stuff and that's all i got i spent 18 dollars my sister and her boyfriend spent like $22 and then my parents and my little brother spent like $40 or something like that. So we did some damage. Good morning you guys. I did not get a piece of my baby shower cake yesterday and I have heard nothing but amazing things about it. Everybody I've like talked to, I didn't even bring it up. They were just like, oh my God, that cake was amazing. So I'm gonna have a piece of cake for breakfast before church because I want to try it. I did have a cookie and that was really good, but I want a piece of cake. There's not much left as you can see, but look at the cute little Teddy. <laughs> in the balloon. I don't know how to cut this. This is so awkward. Oh my god, it feels so... The M word? Yeah. Oh my god, it feels so moist. Wow. Cake of my dreams. Look at this. It looks so pretty. And this is not for you guys. This is for mom. It's about balance. I have my daily greens and reds with a piece of cake. Oh. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? This is amazing wow this is probably the best piece of cake i've ever had in my life to be honest today i need to do nothing but edit this vlog because i have not had time to do any of it but my little cousin also has like an open house at her cheer place at four i think so i kind of want to go to that but i don't know if i have the time to also my key battery for my car needs replaced which jared said he could do easily and it's been on for like a week so I don't I don't know how long it lasts I hate to keep driving it places and then like my key dies and then I can't get home and I'm also needing gas again because I've been driving around town like crazy but the good thing is the Broncos don't play today they play tomorrow night so I don't have to like stop to watch a game or anything if it were to be on or something really not any big plans today if i didn't have to go to church i would not get out of my pajamas and i really don't feel like doing my makeup i did not feel like standing in my bathroom or just being back in my bathroom so we're doing my makeup in the living room again and this i feel like is gonna become more of an everyday makeup thing the further i get pregnant i do have a chair back there i just don't want to sit in it i just want to be out here and watch tv and sit on the couch and hang with my dogs while she stares out the window and while granger just sniffs all the presents oh man i just want to lay down and not do anything today oh i didn't bring my mirror i don't want to get back up <sighs> okay, let me go get my mirror. Do you guys remember when this used to be like my go-to church outfit every single, not every single week, but I wear like every other week because I freaking loved it. I haven't worn it since like I've been visually pregnant, I don't think. Maybe once, but like <laughs> it looks so different with this growing girl. And these boots barely, I mean they fit, but they're a lot more tight up in the calves, you know? 
from all the lovely pregnancy weight gain, but we love it. We're queen still. But yeah, this dress is looking much different these days. My boobs are squished. I couldn't even wear a real bra. I have to wear a sports bra and they still are pretty squished, but it's, oh shit, it's 10 on nine. I gotta go. What am I doing? Okay, bye. It is now 7.33. I have not vlogged at all because I did exactly what I said I was gonna do and that was basically lay on the couch all day and edit and it was a great day just a low energy day exactly what i needed and i wish i could do it again tomorrow but i have to work tomorrow i have actually a busy day tomorrow i work and then i work basketball tomorrow night as well but i have tuesday off because we have our maternity pictures on tuesday so that'll be a nice little break but yeah I'm obviously gonna be closing out the vlog here because <laughs> I have nothing else going on but I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog it was obviously a very special one to us I can't believe that our baby shower is coming on and like now we have maternity photos to look forward to and then after that it's just like it's almost game time which is so crazy so crazy I hope you guys liked it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below I respond to all my comments so let's chat if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me and i guess until next time i will see you in my next video bye guys thanks for watching go out and make the world smile